by most of your career. Martina makes it seem like you really had to educate her about double the same way. Did you think you really had to do that? Well, uh, you know, when you've got a great player by your side like that, it does take some convincing. And uh, when I first asked Martina about three years ago, four years ago now, to play, uh, I'm really happy that she eventually said yes and that we uh, got the chance to play. Our results this year uh, on, on the uh, Grand Slam Tour uh, both proved themselves. Also, our results playing for the Castles on uh, three years now both proved themselves. And uh, just to play with her is a, is a real uh, treat because she's not only a champion on the court but also off the court. Well, I mean, the, I was hoping to get one, you know, but getting two, like, in, within two days was pretty amazing. I mean, I, when I started playing again, uh, the doubles, I was, like, dreaming about it to maybe get another grand slam and eventually it happened with Lee, you know, winning the Australian Open. So that was like already uh, a magical moment, like you described it. It's like really, uh, you know, sharing it with Leander and like he said, it took some convincing to have me playing next to him because I didn't want to look like a fool, you know, it was more of that kind of thing that I was like, I had to hold my own next to him, like, <laughs> and um, yeah, now winning Wimbledon uh, alongside Leander was just, uh, Amazing, you know, the finals was a perfect 10, like I said. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have gotten a lot in the last 24 hours, but how's it feel to be back together and how did it feel to play with each other last night? It was fantastic to, uh, to always be on the court where just spend time together uh, with Martina. There's so much, um, in my opinion, there's so much that we actually share. We may come from different geographical backgrounds, cool. but our upbringing is pretty much the same. We work hard, we're very passionate about what we do. And coming to play for the castle is something that we're both very, very passionate about. Um, I've also actually got to give a big shout out to both of us. Got to give, give a big shout out to the man in that fancy jacket over here, Mark Knight, because uh, not a lot of people know, but actually Mark uh, brought it together uh, at the U.S. Open last year. He brought the conversation up and uh, said, "Why don't you guys play, uh, you know, on the, on, on the Davis Cup tour together? I mean, on the uh, Grand Slam tour together?" And uh, last year, about this time, we actually uh, spoke at the U.S. Open and made it happen. So uh, thank you, Mark, for. Uh, I'll bring that up. There's a different playing a Grand Slam tournament than playing doubles. It is very different uh, in the fact that the scoring patterns are very different. And uh, also, when you look at this scoring pattern, it brings a lot of pressure. It induces pressure straight off the get go um, with the way that you play less. So, hence, even the non receiver partner has to be ready. So, if Martina's returning, I've got to be ready in case it's a let or vice versa. Um, also, on a two-all point, it becomes uh, a big point because then you get two chances for the break, not just one. Um, it's, this system it makes you sharper for when you get to the U.S. Open or when you get to the Grand Slam. You got a question? Yeah, Martina, what is it like to transition from Wimbledon to this more, you know, chaotic package? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God, I already experienced it for like. Uh, especially here in the stadium, this is the second year, it's here in the Smith Center, and you have the billboards running, you know, the TV screen and everything, it's like very crazy, but I kind of, that's what I love about it, because it's, uh, it's a very American attitude to it, when you play football, when you go watch baseball or any other games, NBA, NHL, so it's, uh, I love this kind of format, I always said it, and I've, since I've been already five, six years that I've played it, uh, I mean, I loved it from the beginning, so, um, well, because you have to be on the board right away, I mean, even yesterday, you know, we had, maybe, that was the first time we had a slow start with mid-runs back, and uh, you have to be really, like, from the first point, you have to be full on, and I was always a pretty good off the blocks, and um, that, that helps in the system. Right. I've got time for one from the fans, anybody? You go one right here. Go, <laughs> go for it. One more. To make this a successful and continue the combination, uh, how would you, I, I guess, identify the winning formula? What do you bring to the combination and what? Well, what have you form? watched any of our matches yet? <laughs> 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 so what do you think? So what, are your, what are your pluses and what are your pluses to make this a winning combination? I just stand in my corner and cry. <laughs> 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 That's not true. <laughs> I'm like, this 
kind of setting him up and he takes over. You know, that's pretty much the, the magic that we have. It's like, I put the sermon return in and then he, he does the rest. <laughs> if you go to YouTube and you watch one highlight from the Australian Open against Cuevas and one, uh, and, uh, you can go. Um, see it. See it. You'll actually see how much work she does. <laughs> well, he just puts some like behind the back shots, like on the big point. I'm like, okay, if you can do that, pull that off, it's okay. <laughs> I have no pressure. She's gonna win the next party anyway. Hello, this is beautiful admiration. Well, we can talk like that when you win two grand slides. Exactly. It's like who then goes in our favor. Open, the French Open will be a different story. <laughs> Predictions for tonight. I have a feeling the castles refuse to lose. <laughs> Just have a slight feeling. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.